Turkish Defense Minister Fikri Ishik visited Washington to meet Secretary of Defense James Mattis. Both sides are trying to repair relations that deteriorated under Barack Obama. On some issues, there was clear agreement. Turkey supported the U.S. missile strike on Syria, which the U.S. appreciates, as it does Turkey's assistance to refugees. But on other issues, differences remain. Above all, the U.S. will continue to work with the YPG to defeat ISIS. Kader Ustun, who heads a Washington think tank, described Turkey's view. I think uh, there has been quite a bit of, you know, uh, disenchantment with the, you know, administration's, Obama administration's Syria policy, and that led to uh, disagreements over PYD and other things. But Turkey has seen Trump administration as a new opportunity, and I think we are seeing that. Washington and Ankara also disagree about a safe zone in northern Syria, as Ishak hinted when K-24 asked him about that. This is what we have wanted. And right in the aftermath of the civil war in Syria, this is what we have communicated to the relevant parties, creating these safe zones. It is very important that people continue their lives in a safe zone uh, on the Syrian territory and to continue their lives within the framework of humanitarian uh, conditions and uh, creation of those safe zones were also very important for uh, not to turn this into a political is uh, issue, but unfortunately we were not on the same page with the Obama administration and we couldn't uh, proceed on this matter, but we are insistent on this matter. James Jeffrey was America's ambassador in Turkey and then in Iraq from 2008 to 2012. Jeffrey felt progress had been made. Um, with Turkey, you never 100 percent resolve issues. You just move close enough to have both sides continue on and feel that they've got half a loaf. Uh, that's what he's trying to do here. This was the second time that Ishik and Mattis have met. Some disagreements between the U.S. and Turkey have been resolved, but others, like U.S. support for the YPG, remain issues in dispute. Lori Milroy, Kurdistan 24, Washington, D.C.